All right, today I want to kind of explain the goals that I'm trying to accomplish on this barrel. So I have a young German short hair, short hair male named Maverick. He has been on the barrel uh, a few times and he has been on the woe post. He's already has been worked around birds quite a bit, shot around, had birds shot for him. And so now we just want to get his yard work completed. And this is one of the many steps that I use. So I only use a barrel and a pallet, check card and a pinch collar. Now there's multitudes of different versions of working on a barrel. You can have a tethering system over top. You can have all kinds of other things. All of those things work. This is just what works for me, right? I keep the lead over my shoulder with the rest of the check card behind me. Just in case this dog jumps off, he can't get away from me, right? So the other thing I add, and I'm gonna add today in this video, is I do throw pigeons. I don't start with pigeons. I add them as we go. And so many times people ask me, why do I use a pinch collar versus a leather collar, right? So, or some people call them spring collars because I like to relieve the pressure soon as the dog complies. So the pinch collar actually works better for me to do that, right? I have used leather collars, pinch collars in the past and seemed like I didn't get the timing that I want. They do work, so um, it's not a choice of whether one is better than the other, it's actually on your preference, right? So after I get the dog on, on here and I get them kind of stabilized, I get them kind of stacked up, right? So what I like to see is the dog in a box, right? So you see this box here, right? So that's what, I, that's what, the, what I'm achieving, right? And I kind of stroke the dog, back and tail it simultaneously, right? The good thing I like about this barrel setup is I can take my knee and I can bump that barrel if I want to get that dog a little, a little bit uneasy, right? I just bump that barrel. And you, you notice when I bump the barrel, nothing major happened, right? So I don't want this dog to experience a whole lot of major things happening, right? So I have him up on the barrel. What I want to do is actually give him a little bit of pinch here, right? here not much you notice the dog demeanor didn't change and only thing i want that dog to get heavy see i want to put my weight on him i'm putting 200 and something pounds on him and you notice the dog is holding my weight because he's heavy on his feet that's one of the things i'm trying to get accomplished is the dog to be heavy on his feet right so as i apply birds and you'll see the dog knows these black bags and boom, I got the bird, right? So I got this bird way out there just in case this dog leaps, I got some reaction time, right? So my reaction time allows one, get my hands out of the way, two, allow the bird to get away. So you'll notice this dog here, he's gotten tense, he's tightened up, and I'm gonna let the bird fly. And I'm gonna come back here, right? I may get a little bit of bump, whoop, whoa. Whoa. And then I'm going to come back here. And you notice, look at the dog's demeanor, look at the box, right? Also, if you can see, focus on this dog's head and face and demeanor. Now, I'll wave this bird around a little bit. Right? And now he's kind of leaning. So what I'm going to do here, whoa. Tighten him back up. Go back here. I'm gonna go with another bird. The other thing I like about this barrel setup is I can move it. I can move it to that cover over here. I can move it around to different places, right? So I'm not stationary. I can, I can do this in different areas, right? So 
Sometimes I'll add shooting the, the blank pistol behind my back. Um, I'll do, I'll add other things to this. I'm gonna do one more bird. And if you're really good with your birds, sometimes flip it on the ground. Now that bird is walking on the ground right here in front of the dog. It's gonna fly on its own. So you notice the dog had a little bit of reaction because that's a different kind of, it wasn't used to it. It was the first time I ever threw a dog on the, on the ground, a bird on the ground. So, but look at the dog demeanor. I'm gonna shake the barrel a little bit, whoop. Whoa. I gotta do one more bird, one more bird. And I'm gonna try to get this bird to stay on the ground too. So then I'm back here. Now, when I'm breaking this dog on the ground, on birds, you're gonna see me do the same technique. You're gonna see me do this, whoop, and you're gonna see me do this. I'm gonna take that all the way through, right? Dog is heavy on his feet, can hold my weight. Dog demeanor is good, he's not under any duress. That is one of the ways I use the barrel. Thank you.